All right, good morning, News 5 Facebook fans. I'm News 5's Chad Petrie. I'm just holding my uh, iPhone and uh, camera light because there's not a lot of light out here. I want to give you kind of a look at some of the flooding that uh, we've discovered so far this morning. I'm on Honey Road Extension in Baldwin County. That's Summerdale, Silver Hill, uh, along Fish River. Uh, first went to the uh, dock there at Fish River. Not uh, flooding as far as I could tell there. But uh, definitely here, I'm gonna walk a little bit this way. The light will be a little bit better. I'm not gonna drive my car here, even though we got headlight, uh, high beams. So let me see if I can get over to this sign, show you where we are. We're at Honey Road Extension right here. It's kind of where uh, Honey Road meets Honey Road Extension. That's exactly where we are. Uh, water, where I'm standing, probably getting up to about a foot and a half. In fact, to give you a little perspective, let me see if I can get over there to that fire hydrant. But what we're looking at here is about... Uh, Gosh, I'd say at least five homes. Let me see if I can see get around that corner there to get a better look. Can't get too deep here. But we are along the Fish River. That's uh, where a lot of this water is coming from. And uh, one of the things that the National Weather Service put out early this morning is that there is still a concern for river levels to rise. We're talking about Fish River, we're talking about Perdido River uh, in the Baldwin County area, also Northwest Florida, Escambia County as well. I got a report that uh, we could have some uh, river rising around Cantonment, Florida, uh, Barron Hill Park in Escambia County. But this is where I am in Baldwin County in. Um, on Honey Road Extension, uh, where Honey Road meets Honey Road Extension. Uh, it's either Summerdale or uh, Silver Hill, but uh, we've got a lot of flooding here from the river. That's something that uh, clearly these homeowners are prepared for because uh, these homes here are elevated. But it's something that could get worse as we go on throughout the morning. If I can walk over this way, if it gets too deep, I'm obviously going to turn around.
because I keep moving down uh, this part of the road. Like the water coming from this direction. Even as I'm walking, I can feel the pull of that water. Just a little bit more cut to me, but I don't want to go by it either. Again, if you're just joining us on News 5's Chad Petrie, we're live uh, kind of at the intersection of Honey Road and Honey Road Extension uh, in Baldwin County. Uh, we're seeing some of the river swelling from uh, the Fish River. This is something the National Weather Service put out a statement about earlier this morning, uh, saying that they expect to have uh, rivers rising uh, as we uh, really work our way through the last of this weather system. Uh, some of those warnings include Perdido River, uh, Fish River. This will affect areas in Baldwin County, also Northwest Florida, Scambia County. Uh, we had a warning warning specifically for cantonment. Also, Barano Park in Escambia County, Florida. But right now, this is what I'm seeing at uh, the end of Honey Road and Honey Road Extension in Baldwin County. Uh, Fish River just really just pouring over uh, this side of the road here something that they're not unprepared for here clearly as, as uh, I don't know if you can you can't really see from the video here but the homes are uh, elevated at least in this part as far as I have seen uh, further back on the road they're they're more on foundations but uh, this is where we've got at least the first flooding that well, we've seen this morning in Baldwin County I will have more on this uh, later this morning on news 5 this morning Trying to check out some of the flooding spots around the area. For now, I'm News 5's Chad Petrie, live along Fish River.